always was interested in art, but I got to hand it to a trip that the family took to Guadalajara, Mexico. I think that year down there was a tremendous exposure to the indigenous cultures of Mexico and certainly all the different art forms that those indigenous cultures had. It's really about using the indigenous materials, many of which are soon to be obsolete, in a, a really contemporary statement about the way some of that wisdom was way back then. The bark is from Samoa. Some of the bark on other pieces is from Tonga, and others is from Mexico. Termites or other insects have eaten the holes in them, and I love the holes. The holes become part of the design. The ceremonial dress is, is a dress for mother culture and it's um, decorated actually with cochineal, a, a beetle from Oaxaca, Mexico, which is a red dye, a very permanent red dye. I wanted to use the beautiful indigo color because it's a, a natural pigment that goes back into time. You start out with the pigment, it's a plant, it turns this pea green, yellow color. And so when I first put it on or painted on the piece, I, I'm worried that I have just destroyed everything. But then it does oxidize and it turns into that beautiful deep indigo blue color. I used a heat gun and literally scorched the surface of the bark. It's about drought. Any map of the southern part of Colorado will just show the incredible drought that's going on there, farmers and ranchers feeling every lack of drop. We can talk intellectually about all these messages, but I think as an artist, what I would hope is that someone could walk up and see one of these pieces and the scale of one of these pieces and just get a, it, an intuitive connection with it. They felt like they were a part of the mystery of the piece. All, all art needs a mystery.